everyone, welcome back. And today I have a haul and review. And it also include the vintage pack from Sticky Club from the uh, January pack. So um, we'll do that last. Um, but I wanted to just talk about um, three different items that I purchased that are planner and scrapbooking and like decorative journaling kind of related. So I did purchase something that I'd seen that I'd wanted for a while, which I'm going to talk about. And then I also purchased some other items <laughs> that are from brands I haven't purchased from before, but I've heard a lot about. Um, and we are going to look at those and do a review. Feel. Um, and yes, one of those is the new rainbow collection from Live Walk Posh, which is sitting right here. So stay tuned. All right. So the very first thing I want to talk about is the Hello Happy Guided Journal. This is a journal that was released by the Happy Planner. Um, I think maybe the end of last year, beginning of this year. It sold out really quickly. Um, and the reason why is because it has a special layout. Um, this is just what it looks like here. It says Guided Happy Journal. I already I had taken that off to take a picture. Um, so one of the issues that uh, I kind of ran into is that not only was it out of stock everywhere, but I did end up finding it at Joann's. I mentioned before I'm immunocompromised. I have to be careful. I'm not going to go in a store. Um, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so there there wasn't really a lot of things I could get in store. I couldn't go in store to check and see if they had it in stock. So I waited for it to go on sale online and then I did purchase it to be shipped to me from Joann's. I had a coupon code. So I actually got this for around like $9. So I thought $9 shipped for this, like considering the insane prices people are reselling it on Mercari and other places for, um, was perfectly fine. It is... A, prompt, a, a prompted journal and it has undated and it has some habit trackers. What do you want to read or watch? And it's just really pretty and fun and it's more unique than any other type of guided journal that I've seen. And I really liked this layout and it spoke to me. Um, and I wanted to have it for my lineup for the coming year. Um, so I was happy to get it. I did not have the issue some people had with the cover being upside down or something like that. Um, that was fine. However, um, I did have an issue with FedEx and Joanne in shipping this. For some reason, they decided to essentially just put this in a bag. <laughs> like it, it literally just shipped in a bag. There was no protective anything. It wasn't even wrapped in like a little bit of paper or, or any kind of insulation. It was not shipped in a box. It was just literally shipped to me in a plastic, like completely beat up bag. And it actually arrived, the bag arrived with a hole on it. So, I, I can't say I'm too happy right now with FedEx and Joanne. It also took probably a good, I mean, I'm fine with waiting for something um, to ship. I get that things are insane right now. Um, so I, I get that, um, but I just feel like they could have taken more care. And the reason I, and again, this is not going to bother me. I'm, I always take these off disc. I put them together um, on, on like expander disc. That's just what I do for my journals. Um, but as you can see, this, um, this actually was completely eviscerated, this disc. It was inside of the bag when um, it arrived, totally cracked. The one on the end here is already cracked through. Um, and for those of you wondering why I don't use clear plastic disc anymore <laughs> on any of my planners, this is the reason I don't use clear plastic disc anymore. For some reason, the clear plastic disc just seemed to be the flimsiest. Um, and then the other thing that happened in shipping, which is not even remotely as big of a deal, is it, it did bend up the inside cover a little bit. And the fact that I have to like really get close to show you how it bent it up at all is kind of a testament to it being 
really not that bad. Um, so as long as the guts and the cover and everything, they're okay. They were not damaged, thankfully. Um, and that is because Happy Planner always wraps things when they're being delivered. Um, and I'm very happy to have this and I don't mind these. I'm not going to go and be like, I want my money back or email Happy Planner and be like, will you replace all these discs for me? I, I mean, I, th I don't ha think it's bad if people do that, but it's not, I mean, it's not an issue for me because I'm, I'm just not going to use these. I'll take these and make them into like um, ornaments or do a DIY with them or something. But I, you know, I'm happy to have this and I, I really hope they release more journals like this because it's just such a unique concept and uh, I love that it has creative prompts like doodling and just, I just think this is much more fun than just write about this. And it, it's, I can color it and I really want to like decorate it. Like I feel inspired by this. Um, so I can see why people really liked it. Um, and we're trying to scoop it up. But I anticipate that they are going to release ones like this in the future. Um, and hopefully they will find a way to make the plastic disc more durable or just release more larger size metal disc options and more colors like that's what we're asking for happy planner please and just just more expander disc in more colors that's what we want give it to us um so i'm happy with the item um and i'm not horribly happy with the shipping uh but thankfully nothing broke off or bent um to a point where it was unusable and the planner itself did not get damaged even though it was raining and there was a hole in the bag it was delivered in. So yay! So that is my first item in the haul. The next thing that I got recently in a little haul um, was from the washi tape shop which is a washi shop I've never purchased from before. I know that um, Planning with Bumble um, and a few other uh, folks who have been squad members or mentors have used the washi tape shop. They are very popular and they have beautiful washi tape. Um, a lot of times in very intricate and artistic designs. And they had a few collections I really liked, but they were quite expensive. So I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And eventually they did go on sale and then they had like a multiples save more sale and apparently I reached a threshold that they actually sent me a free washi tape with my order which is this absolutely gorgeous koi fish washi tape. Um, I'm just gonna like hold it up and let you look at the foiling and the pond ripple detail in this and yeah that is amazing. So so they, they sent that to me, um, and then they sent their little card that says, we want to personally thank you for your order with us. There's nothing more meaningful to our endeavors than your support. Tag us on Instagram. Um, we would love to share it in our stories. And they also sent me a um, discount for my next order. So that's nice. And they um, ship all their washi inside this lovely paper that has cherry blossoms on it. Um, and I just thought that was so pretty. So I'm going to kind of go from smallest to largest. So we're going to start with these. And I bought these because I love anything that's like angel wings, feathers, that kind of thing. It kind of fits with the whole like Valkyrie, like mythos. And so um, I saw these and I was like, okay, yeah, we're going <laughs> to definitely get these. Um, so these are very much like cosmic themed. So they have um, these beautiful feathers. That's actually a peacock feather there. And then the moon and stars and like butterflies. And it's just so freaking pretty. So this is, um, I got this in a set. This They came in the, the black colorway and the white colorway. Uh, I just think they're gorgeous. And you get a lot on a roll. As you can see, like that's a pretty a thick roll of washi there. So that was the first set that I got. And I'll try to put the name of the set um, in the description box and the link, to, um, the link to these on the washi tape shop if you'd like to get them if they're still available. And then this one was, 
Um, I'm kind of lovingly calling this like the dark academia theme. <laughs> um, this is, uh, and music. It's also m music themed. So two of the things that I love. And again, one of the ones I just, I waited for it to go on sale, man, because wait till you see this. This is, if you are like me and you love anything that's like classical, scholarly academia, vintage books, like look, look at these books, look at them, how awesome and detailed this book, bookshelf washi. There's also some music washi and there are, it's kind of hard to see, um, but it has like a violin pattern on it and little roses, so that's extremely moi. <laughs> we also have some more like script with ink blots and roses, some dark botanicals, and then decorative scroll. And this is in a kind of maroonish brown color with this really beautiful bright white like design on it. It kind of reminds me of like a gingerbread house. I'm thinking I might use this to do some kind of like vintage holiday layout with it because it does kind of look like a gingerbread house decoration. So that is the next set. And what sucked me into buying from the washi tape shop in the first place was this collection here. This is their new fairy washi collection and I... I'm, I wanted this so bad when it first came out. I was like seeing it all over I, I made Instagram and both Instagram and Facebook. Like pretty much I looked at it and then like it wouldn't, it followed me. Like AdSense knew that I wanted this washi. So I'm going to show you. These are jumbo size. Looks like. So they're quite, quite large and some of them are a mix of sizes but there are I think five or six I think there are yeah there are five so these actually have amazing artwork on them so I'm going to start with like the purple here we have this beautiful moon and this beautiful artwork behind it of the swirling clouds and stars and then we have our little like celestial fairy and the artwork of her. And then we have like a sun and fire fairy kind of theme. Again, look at that amazing artwork. So you see the, the fairies with the fairy wings here. Look at that amazing detailed art. And lastly, we have more of, of a sunscape type with the clouds. This big bright star, like the swirling, swirling clouds and has a blue background. And if you think for one second that I'm not going to make a Winx Club layout in my planner using this washi tape, do you know me? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really, this was the one I was going to just splurge on because I, I love it. I love the artwork. I love that I could honestly do a spread alone with just the roll of washi. Um, and because it, it's so just detailed and the art is so amazing like look at the the detail on like these butterfly wings and the crown of fire on her I just think it's amazing so these were what I purchased from the washi tape shop and then um, the koi fish one here was a freebie that they sent me um, with my order. So that is everything that I purchased from the washi tape shop. And I gotta say, like it. And now it is time. 
my Live Love Posh rainbow collection order. Um, if you're not familiar with Live Love Posh, um, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you you you're probably you're probably familiar with Live Love Posh even if you haven't actually like recognized the brand name. All of those amazing like huge floral sticker books that you see everyone using um, that always had that limited release. That's that's them. Um, she's a former squad mentor and she created this line. Now, oh, I'm like peeking. So I I opened up the side to open up the box. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take everything out this way. Now, now she wanted to make sure everything shipped nicely and didn't break. Thank you. Ooh, I think this is I think this is my washi tape. Okay. Ooh, okay. You know it's gotta be good when I start doing my own sound effects, okay? <laughs> that's that's what this is. So it comes with a note from Jessica, who is the creator. Thank you so much for shopping with me. Truly grateful for all of your support. I hope you love your purchase and enjoy using everything. And it has this lovely kind of, this is a sample of just the art style you're gonna see. And it has their social media and a discount code for my next purchase. Yay! So before we get into the big thing, I did purchase the washi tape, the Rainbow Essentials. Here it is. So we're gonna just I'm just gonna try to open this up. I think it's, it's I want to keep it in this box. Oh, I did it. Yay! So there are seven colors in the rainbow collection: blue, green, orange, pink, purple, red, and yellow. And she made these washi tapes specifically to go with the colors used in these, the specific shade, so that everything matches. And so I thought, well, <laughs> oh, I'm already buying all this washi tape. So um, so I did get the washi tape to go with the sticker books because I don't actually have a lot of washi this size and I don't have a lot of single color washi. Um, because sometimes when I see beautiful print washi, I just go, oh, I need to buy that. Oh, it's so pretty. And I, I'm like a magpie. But then like when I actually need to use just like a solid red washi tape, I don't have any. Uh, so that was actually the purpose of this purchase. Um, but it will match with the colors in here. So it came with, um, each of these has a little stripe one, um, and then a solid one. All right. Are you ready? And I also um, just wanted to mention that I didn't, I purchased what is called the Oops one of these. Um, and for this collection, apparently some of the original shipments had just like small bumps on the outside cover from shipping. And Jessica must have felt so bad about that that she put, she took $5 off the asking price. Um, but I mean, I'm going to take this out and I was expecting to see like a big like crack in the front or something and I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking, ah, okay, so it looks like, so mine has like a, that, that is why $5 was taken off, this teeny, teeny, tiny little bump in the corner here on the bottom, uh, and I don't mind. <laughs> I think it's great. And so here we have the, I'm just gonna put this like this, the seven functionally chic blooms in the rainbow collection. And it stands up like this. I'm, I'm gonna tilt my camera up one second. These are big, like these are big sticker books. I don't have a, like a happy planner sticker book to hold up in comparison. Um, I can probably grab one though. Give me one second and I'm gonna get one and we can look at like the size. Here we go. So here is Miss Maker, the new Miss Maker. And as you can see, these are much bigger, like a lot bigger. So these are pretty big sticker books. And one of the reasons I hadn't purchased any Live Love Posh books in the past 
is, well, <laughs> one, they're very expensive, um, or they were just out of my budget at the time, I should say. Uh, but they are, they tend to be more expensive. But I also did not have anything to, like, contain them. Um, I wasn't really sure where they, they weren't going to fit necessarily in my storage that I already had. And <laughs> my dog and cat are going to get into trouble. <laughs> That's Pebbles right there. Her little tail's sticking up. So this actually comes with its own case um, to hold everything. And I also, I love that I can match up the rainbow. I, there's just something so satisfying about that. So I am really, really excited to get into these. And I'm going to try to do um, flip throughs, but um, I don't really like doing like full flip throughs on my channel because you can go to like Jessica's Instagram, you can go to Live La Posh and actually watch the flip throughs of this. Um, but I am going to go ahead and, and also it has that little notch so that you can put your thumb in and actually get out the books. So, oh, here we go. It's so exciting. Look at the rainbow rim on the box. It's a new sticker smell. <laughs> so each of these contains 30 sheets and they're completely color coordinated, the functional and the decorative stickers. So I'm just gonna flip through. Oops, I have it upside down. Ah, there we go. So this is the front. And I am just going to kind of flip through because I think that there's functional stickers. Yeah, so there's functional stickers like these. So And they're all in the pink hues that are going to match what's in the book. So you get full boxes, half boxes, barking doggies. These are great. And then you have these clear stickers, the florals that are going to match perfectly with all of the functional boxes and they're all in those shades of pink and they're quite large so it's Ooh, more functional stickers oh, so these are our days of the week guys come on why are we gonna do that when mommy's filming thank you so we have our like days of the week and like headers And then we have purple, and it's gonna be, I just, you know what? There, solved that. Um, it's gonna be the same thing. And all of the florals are different though. And I really like that, they're, they're all unique. They don't have like the same flowers in each of these books. Like the purple flowers are gonna be different from like the other flowers. Um, so like, it looks like in the red one, for instance, we're going to get poinsettia. So like for holiday. I like this because I like having a sticker book where everything is going to color coordinate. Because when you're like me and you like to do what some would consider extremely busy, overly decorative, like planner and, and other layouts in uh, for like paper crafting and journaling, matching colors and and styles keeps everything uniform enough to be readable um, and to be structured enough to work and. So that's why I think that this is such a great collection. Um, so like here's orange stickers and I feel like orange is such a hard color. Um, and, and there's like such a great, you get the color match. Same thing with like green and yellow. I feel like I, I feel like I could go through and find a lot of green stickers, but let me tell you, I did a, I actually did a spread for like St. Patrick's week and it was a green spread. Oh wow, that's really cool. 
Um, and I could not find sunflowers. Look, you guys, sunflowers. I honestly could not find as many stickers for that as I, I thought. And so here we have a whole bunch of different green stickers. So there's the functional pages. Look at that. We have, and look, this is like a picture box. How great is that for memory planning or to put around like a quote or something? Was, oh, there was a bird. Look at the birds. And the butterflies. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. So this is definitely the most expensive sticker purchase that I have ever made. Um, <laughs> uh, it was not cheap. Um, it was $125. Um, and you get the seven sticker books. So if you think about the seven sticker books being normally $20 each, um, plus shipping, then I think that I, I, I got a good deal, all things considered. But I certainly understand how like these sell out so quickly and also why they are expensive because of the quality of the stickers. Um, and the attention to detail, I just think, wow, what a, what a beautiful purchase. And I am actually like really looking forward to using these. I think I'm going to use some of the green and the purple, um, and do like a Mardi Gras inspired spread with one of my favorite Disney princesses, Tiana from March. So, um, I'm going to be using those. So those will be featured there. I'll let you know. Um, and then here we have the matching washi. So that is everything from Live Love Posh, and we'll do now our sticker reveal for the vintage sticky. So just real quickly, I wanted to end with my January Sticky Club Vintage Pack, and the theme for this was Natsukashi, and from what I am understanding about this particular uh, sticker pack is that it is very much inspired by Japanese art prints and the floating world ukiyo-e kind of aesthetic and so I, I'm hoping to see some of that uh, inspiration throughout and we did get a clear stamp of this beautiful crane um, and it's a really nice size clear stamp too it's like the size of my hand And we also got a water print here with the trees. So now let's check out the stickers. So we have some, these almost look like functional box stickers. Um, and they have that wave pattern and the different Japanese art print patterns on them. Really, really nice. And these are in like some minty blue seafoam colors. And then we have from Sticky Club again. And, oh, I lied. These are actually Art Petri, which is uh, artists we've seen featured before. Um, so these are some stamps with different places, ostensibly around Japan. And they are foiled and very detailed and beautiful. Um, like, really, look at that. Look at the art of Mount Fuji there with the cherry blossoms. And then from Sticky Club, again, they don't have a different artist listed, um, but these are some evening scapes of the countryside and people maybe like attending festivals. I see people wearing like traditional yukata. 
this is so pretty. This reminds me. I, I just I love that. It reminds me of Casper David Button Frazier, who's an artist who did like um, scenes at different times of day with like silhouettes, and, and I, I I just love that type of that type of art. And I love like the moon here, and you just see the color saturation and the different shades of the shadows. Like the it's just such beautiful art. I did, that's one of the reasons I just love Sticky Club so much for the, the for decorative stickers. They just have unique stickers. Uh, I don't see like this art anywhere else. So now we have something from Elena Alfonso Art, and it is these black and white, and they have silver foil. Um, it looks like bonsai trees with sort of these spirit women all around the trees and again just beautiful really high quality like this this is heavy paper and again featuring a small artist so there's that one then from tea thought shop we have some washi stickers and they are tea themed and some like tea pastries and japanese tea themed Got some cherry blossoms here. Really, really cute. And we have, ooh, oh my gosh. I know what opera that I'm gonna do for the March monthly layout, guys. <laughs> if Sticky Club has decided for me. So they've included these date covers for th up through like the 31st. And they have these gorgeous Japanese art prints behind each of them so that you can put them over like the whole month so i am so excited about these looks like we have something from sticky club that is more of then this reminds me very much of like art nouveau and where, where it lifts from um japanese art and we have these beautiful curving floral designs with the climbing cherry blossoms. Just lovely. And then last but certainly not least, Erica Ward illustration created these absolutely gorgeous illustrations of women in the traditional Japanese attire we have the bonsai tree and flowers everywhere. I just think that is so beautiful and I'm really excited to get to use these. And that is everything in this haul video. I hope you all enjoyed this and I will be probably purchasing some of the spring release from Happy Planner. I know that many of you may know that's coming. Um, I didn't really see anything that I was sort of, I want to jump on this right now, except for maybe like a couple, like two things. So I'm probably going to end up purchasing more of the spring line as it comes to places like Joanne and Michael's, um, potentially, or just after it starts to go on sale. Um, that's always something you can do. Like you don't have to be the first person to get everything. I'm sure we'll see them everywhere. Um, but I'm really excited about this right now. Um, and I, I think that I'm going to have so much fun playing with the stickers and I'm really excited now to do maybe, um, an opera inspired spread with these. And I am, again, just totally in love with the fairy collection from the washi tape shop. So very, very pleased. And I'm very much looking forward to using these. So you'll see these in upcoming um, Plan With Me videos. And also check out my Instagram, Valkyrie Plans, to see more of my spreads and what I'm doing with my stickers um, that don't necessarily get featured on this channel. I will catch you Wednesday with a new planner related video. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.